this is uh, Cryptozoic at booth 115 at San Diego Comic Con. I'm going to show off some of our exclusives here for San Diego. So starting off with our golden goddesses, we have our DC Bombshell Series 3 goddesses, as well as our golden goddess Cami. These are definitely a fan favorite and first to sell out every day. They've gotten a lot of fan love, that's for sure. And with their popularity and success, we've decided to create the ultimate golden goddess. The designer that actually designed the golden goddess variants had it, uh, Wonder Woman in mind. It was the very first golden goddess he created. He was thinking of Greek statues and you know those yeah. golden accents and so when we were thinking of what to do next we wanted to go back to one of our most popular lines make the ultimate golden goddess which is the Wonder Woman Princess of the Mascara statue she's available for pre-order right now it's beautiful yeah she'll be releasing at the end of this year awesome so we also have our bombshells. We have the whole set of noir right here. We have them available at the show. Um, yeah, they're also another fan favorite. A shared exclusive between Hot Topic and Cryptozoic. Mm -hmm. And they're of course based off of our classic bombshell line. This is series three of our bombshells. So we also have our Street Fighter Little Knockouts, another fan favorite we've taken with us to conventions for quite some time. And our 7-inch Knockouts with Kami, Chun-Li, and Sakura. All right, up here, we have the rest of our San Diego Comic-Con exclusives on this shelf. So that includes War from the Kripkins of the Apocalypse and Ravishing Red Raven from our Little Bombshell series. And the Black, White, Red All Over Tiki set with Joker and Harley Quinn. Yeah. Now these two over here are Cryptozoic exclusives. They're only available online and at conventions. The caped variant of our Linda Carter figure and our classic Mara statue. And this shelf down here are our most recent releases. So that will be the Wonder Woman movie collectible which released here at San Diego Comic Con. Oh, awesome. Yeah, so this is the first time she's been available. If you pre-ordered for her from us, we've already shipped her out to you. And this is the first time fans can pick her up along with the Noir exclusive, which is a summer convention exclusive. It's shared between us and Barnes & Noble. So if you can't make it to the convention, she is available at uh, Slug Barnes & Noble and online. Sweet. Mm -hmm. And we also can't forget our main man over here, Freddy, our first vinyl terror we've ever had. It's a brand new line focusing on more of the creepy crawlies. Um, so we're focusing on villains with this line in our 7-inch statue. And we also have our Shadow Edition, which is exclusive to Cryptozoic and limited to 350 pieces. He is still available online and at the convention. Featuring our most recent Epic Spell Wars release, Epic Spell Wars Panic at the Pleasure Palace. That is the fourth game in the Epic Spell Wars series. It's been a, certainly a fan favorite with all of its wacky, not safe for work uh, art and cards. Um, so certainly on the top shelf over here. Um, and this one is all based off of you know all sorts of sexual innuendos. Um, and we're also uh, promoting our Epic Spell Wars of the Battle Wizards, Tud Spell Slammer, and the Juice Statue. Now this is going to be available at Gen Con. Um, we brought a couple for a small pre-release here at San Diego, but for everybody else will be available at Gen Con releasing um, and to promote um, Epic Spell Wars Annihilageddon. Oh. <laughs> yes, our, uh, our, our next uh, in the Epic Spell Wars series, which will be a deck builder format. Oh, cool. Yeah. And we also have Pickle Rick! Pickle Rick! <laughs> Rick and Morty, the Pickle Rick game. The entire game fits inside the pickle. It's a really fun collaboration between the Collectibles team and the games team here at Cryptozoic. It also comes with uh, two figures, uh, the two miniatures of Pickle Rick and the Jaguar. It's a one to two player game uh, where someone plays as Pickle Rick and someone plays as the Russians. And the Russians are trying to stop Pickle Rick from reaching the rooftop tile and Pickle Rick is doing everything in his power to get to the rooftop tile. It's a really good ch uh, game of chance and strategy. You have cards in your hand. Each team has a, their own unique deck. Um, you roll dice to determine your actions. So there's a lot of a lot of chance, like trying to run through a building that you don't know, and laying over tiles, and making up your own board as you go, um, and trying to see what sort of resources are available to you each time you play. Sweet. So it is a lot of chance, but it does give you reaction to the chance. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Yeah. 
We also have Cult. Uh, this was a Kickstarter game that we did, so we are featuring it here at San Diego Comic Con. So you can check that out. Come by our booth and ask us anything. Um, and we also have our Steam Universe trading cards, which were our most recent trading card release. Mm -hmm. And we have Pantone, which is definitely a crowd favorite. It's a really fun party game where you lay color swatch cards and try to get people to guess the characters. Can you guess the one in the middle? Looks like Leia to me. There you go, you played the game. <laughs> awesome. So if you didn't get it, there's hints on the cards and the more hints that you need, the less points you get. That is cool. And so the first round, you can use as many cards as you'd like, like that Superman back there. The second round, you can only use one of each color, like Best Joker over here. And then the last round, you can only use three cards, like this green arrow right here. Oh, wow. So it doesn't have to be literal. Anything that you can do to get people to guess, it works. Yep. And then uh, our challenge of the Super Friends trading card game. This is uh, part of our Griffin engine, which is brand new. It's our most recent game release. It's very exciting. Uh, it's very fun, quick, easy to learn, easy to transport. It's just a solid, good game. Sweet. And last but certainly not least is DC Spyfall. If you're a fan of Cryptozoic, you'll probably be familiar with Spyfall. And this is a DC version. It's a social deduction game where there's a deck of cards that all have the same location except for one which will be the Joker. And so you pass out the cards and the people with the location are trying to figure out who the Joker is and the Joker is trying to figure out what the location is. <laughs> so you take turns asking each other questions and hopefully you don't give too much away. That is cool. Stay up to date with Pixel Dan at San Diego Comic Con 2019. Follow at Pixel Dan on Twitter or forward slash Pixel Dan on YouTube.com. As always, thanks for tuning in to your premier source for all things toys, Pixel Dan. See you again.